Yo yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Wani Boo Boo and today we got a few interesting things to talk about today. We're gonna be talking about Aquix's LAN event and Aquix's competitive team. Now me and Grant are looking for two Xbox One competitive team players to play with us in our upcoming upcoming LAN event in Pennsylvania. Now there are just some things I want to clarify. You can be 15 to play in this LAN event. Um, I'm pretty sure you be 14 too. Um, but it is in Pennsylvania. Um, the payout is $3,000. So it's a pretty good payout. Not a bad payout, I would say. Um, but we are we need at least two more guys to play competitive with us. Um, the event is April 29th. So, I mean... If that's something that you can make and you play Xbox One competitive Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and you think you can play at a high level with us, I mean, that would be great. Um, and if you aren't interested, I will put that <clears throat> in the description. Contact me. Also, guys, we're going to be talking about some tips for Call of Duty, okay? So basically what I'm going to say is right now is Call of Duty, obviously every Call of Duty... <clears throat> I want to say it's basically the same. <clears throat> you want to basically do these couple of tips. And it should definitely make you a better player. So what I like to do when I'm playing a UMG match or a GB, um, I play submachine gun. So I'm a sub player, I play sub slayer, um, that's my role in team. Um, I'm a rush type player, so this might not work for you. I like to pre-aim my corners. Um, <clears throat> I think that's a very big thing in Call of Duty or in any first person shooter game you play is pre aiming your corners okay that's like one of the biggest things that you want to do also guys pre firing i want to say is a good tactic but also i want to say it's a bad tactic just as well because if you don't know if somebody you don't know if anybody's around the corner you know what i mean so that's the confusing part but i feel like if you pre fire um it's kind of going to give away your position and if you don't know if the kids there or not it's just gonna give away your position and you'll most likely die. Pre fi pre aiming, that's what I meant. Um, that's a better tactic because you'll be ready to shoot the person already because they're already pre aimed. All you gotta do is shoot. Um, also, for Call of Duty, I'm gonna say, guys, get a scuff. Either get a scuff controller, a Battle Beaver, or an Xbox One Elite controller, or a PS4 Elite controller, whatever console you play on because it has paddles. Now, you could clog too, but I'll be honest with you guys, in Black Ops 3, um, I held an easy 3.0, and I just played, like, uh, tactical, so I was always switching my thumb to the A button constantly, but, uh, I didn't have a scuff, but in Infinite Warfare I have a scuff, and obviously I played better, but I think I played good in BO3 for not even having a scuff at the time, but yeah, I definitely invest into a scuff. Also, guys, I'll be honest with you, I'd invest into an Astro headset, or maybe those new Turtle Beach Elite Pros, they definitely help the sound touring, I'm just gonna say that. Now, for also about Call of Duty, <clears throat> run smart perks. As if you're playing a Respawn, or S&D, an S&D, I'm normally gonna run Flak Jacket, um, Dead Silence, and Tack Mask, and Toughness, depending on the Call of Duty. But basically, it's gonna stay the same in every Call of Duty, because of the fact that in S and D, everybody's constantly throwing nades and flash grenades and just you know a whole bunch of stuff. Now, when you're playing respawn, people are gonna throw that stuff, but you want to reload faster. So in these new Call of Duties, they give you like a perk uh, dexterity, like in Infinite Warfare, but it lets you reload faster. So in Infinite Warfare, I run dexterity for my respawns because I understand that if I'm playing Slayer and I have to run around, I'm gonna have to reload quickly. Now, that's not for everybody, so I wouldn't recommend that. Also, this isn't really much of a tip, but it, it could just help you out a bit. Use all the guns like that you like. If you like a certain weapon group, like ARs or subs, use all the, the weapons in that group to see what you're better with. You know what I mean? You never know. And try weird, stupid attachments on the guns, you know? Funny attachments, you know? Just to challenge yourself. That also gets you better with the weapon. As you can see, I'm just using a CUDA right now. Just going, like... Going ham on these kids right now, man. Oh my god. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, use all the guns in your weapon group. You never know. Also, guys, I'll be honest with you. 
specialist. You want to find a specialist that actually, like, it's your playing style. That That's very important, I feel like, in Call of Duty. Especially these new ones, you want to find one that fits your playing style. If you like to rush, maybe in Black Ops 3, Heat Wave was your thing. But if you like to rush, morally, I think in Infinite Warfare, Synaptic's more of a thing for you. Just saying. But, um, also, guys, um... I'm just gonna say this right now, if you're aiming, if you wanna know how to get better at aim, run a medium sensitivity. Whatever the medium sensitivity in the game is, I'd run it. Like, I run a 3-4 in Infinite Warfare. Um, and I think I love 3-4, that's perfect aim. Um, also, I'll be honest with you guys, um, Control Freaks, I run those two, but they really don't help too much, I'd say, so, it, Control Freaks really don't matter. Aiming in Call of Duty matters the most. If you can aim very precisely, you're gonna win your gunfights, I think that's very important. So, I run a 3-4 in Infinite Warfare, and I run a medium sensitivity, just about, in every Call of Duty. It helps me, I like it, I think it's a good sensitivity. Everybody, like I said, everybody's different, everybody has different flaws, different successes, so, you know, that's definitely different. <clears throat> but I hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you do want to join the Xbox One competitive team for Infinite Warfare and go to the LAN event on April 29th in Pennsylvania, I'll put my Twitter and Snapchat below, so message me if you're interested, this is your boy Wani Boo Boo, and I will see you guys later.